Okay, I'm back. I'm going to see if I can put us on a 10 mile final. This is another thing I like about X Plane. Select airport, it's still showing Ketchikan, and I'll do approach 10 miles, runway 11. There we are. Of course, nothing in the plane is right right now, but well, that's another story. Terrain. 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 pretty low actually, 10 mile final, but I'm only at 1,500 feet, so let me climb up a little bit here, you see some of the terrain on the radar, got to get some speed going here, it's hard to do this one handed with one hand on the camera, so bear with me everyone. Handed, very crappy flying, probably. But I'm doing my best. Uh, let's see what I can do here. A little above the glide path. Flaps in. <laughs> Terrible one-handed flying. Way too fast. Terrain, terrain. Now, see, my flaps are deployed, and that's the problem, I think, right now. I'm going to turn the flap and have it switch on. Gears down. I'm kind of pretty high right now, but oh well. Pretty fast. Press the flaps in. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Catch a can. The weather looks really good. Some avionics working with X Plane 10. Works pretty darn good. Just a few little things here and there with, like, like I said, I haven't figured out. And it's probably more related to my controls than anything in my setup, but 
Uh, hope to get the FDS radios going here in the uh, fall or winter as soon as uh, they come out with some drivers from TechWorks. And, uh, but everything else is running beautifully and um, you know there's always a workaround for everything. You know, for those of you who haven't tried X-Plane, even X-Plane 9 is really nice. I've, I've been doing that with another project I got going on, but, um, you know, the X-Plane 10 and the support of it is just, you know, seems to be getting better and better here. So, um, I'll leave you with that, and uh, I got to get to work. I'll talk to you later.